here to conduct an AAR, Alpha Company, 2nd Cap, 1st Missouri Battalion. Uh, today's op. Um, basically, we're going to go over you know, the procedures we had on the last op we had with the, what was the name of it, sir? The L, the Search and Destroy. Yeah, Search and Destroy. Um, so, Jason, LT, what was, what was actually supposed to happen? What was the objective? Uh, the objective was to have two teams, one defending, one attacking. The attackers were to set a bomb with a three-minute timer. Uh, defenders were to uh, prevent that from happening and or disarm if the uh, explosive was armed. Do you have anything to add the first time? Uh, no, that was the main objective. Okay. Nothing at this time. Anything, sir? Uh, pretty much covered in that show. Okay. What actually did happen? When we was going through all the motions, what did happen from your side, LT, since you was on the opposite team there for a couple rounds? Uh, Defendium did pretty well. I mean, only one time did the timer actually get set um, on both sides, uh, between swapping teams, uh, swapping between attack or defense. Um, I mean, the op went well. As far as, like, uh, the approach to the actual objective, um, on the defending side, um, what do you think as far as like the avenues of approach and things like that? Could anything could have been done different on your team? Uh, definitely better communication. We kind of, we kind of, at the beginning we started off the right way. You know, we sent one team going uh, low right to flank. Uh, then myself and Chief went uh, left up high. Um, Kind of played Overwatch over the objective, and uh, I mean it was just communication probably would have been more, uh, more so. Yeah, I did notice some communication issues. Um, you know, we had some radio issues with problem with the actual, you know, connection of the microphone and things like that, and things like that was going to happen. Um, so you just got to adapt and overcome. I mean, these obstacles they come to you. Um, on the attacking side, one thing I did notice. Um, it was even on both sides to get to the objective, so that's that's a good thing, especially on this field, the way it's set up with the terrain features and stuff like that. It can be kind of difficult on some game types, but this one, like you said, first time, it was it was set up pretty good, and it was a, a really good game for you to come up with, sir. We really appreciate that. Cool. Cool. Um, what were three good points, high points, that you noticed on that? Uh, great line of sight, personally. Um, if you move fast and uh, strategically, and you had great, great line of sight, um, I mean, it was just, it was a great off. Regardless, I mean, just the ability to defend and prevent, you know, it was just, it was a great off. Now, one thing I did notice as far as like planning the bomb on the attacking side as well. Um, it was actually pretty difficult to get out there because there's not that much cover to get to the tower where you had to set the explosive. So, you know, on the defending side, I don't, I wouldn't say it was easier, but one thing I did notice, a good point for me, is you, not only did your camo blend in, but you were using the terrain features well for your cover and concealment. Me and Sam, um, actually before the Major got me out, uh, I noticed that Dude, I could barely see you. You were like, I, I defilade above that concrete bunker. Mm -hmm. um, but you were still getting people out. So that's one thing. That's good props for, for you doing that. For some of you, have something to add? Uh, I actually do. I, I noticed something on our team that I, I think happened exceptionally well is uh, as we began the operation, uh, we went in, we had some things that we needed to overcome. As the operation progressed, we adapted to that, and our team was able to communicate a little bit better and use a little bit more tactics. So I, I really like how our team overcame some of the objectives and, and things that we had uh, that were working against us when the operation began. And as it progressed, like I said, we got better, we overcame, and uh, we used what we, what we learned at the beginning and overcame and won the match. What's another good point, sir, as far as the objective or the top in general? Uh, one thing I noticed on both sides is both sides had some pretty good uh, flanking maneuvers going. And it, it, that went really well in the in the first round. Uh, our side, yeah, uh, we had uh, myself and the LT over on the left side, and uh, we had our other two teammates 
coming up the right side at the bottom of the hill, and I, I'm, I couldn't see if they had gotten anybody out on that side, but they did uh, distract some members of the other team enough to where they left their flanks open. I was able to get a couple people that way. And then uh, in the last round, uh, your team did really well flanking. Yeah, because when I, after I had gotten out, I came back up, and uh, first sergeant here was uh, right on top of where I had, I had been when I got out. Yeah, one you know, a good thing, another good point. Um, I noticed is as far as working a team cohesively, um, we're doing pretty good. As as we get farther on in the climb the glory program and the battle drills and actually in the training process, um, there's a lot of things that you're going to see change within our group. It's it's going to be night and day. Um, as a team, cohesive unit, we're, we're pretty good now. Tactics-wise, we all think alike. Uh, we all mesh really well together. Uh, but as everything starts to come together, you're going to see a big change. It yeah. does happen. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. What are three things that we can actually improve on for next time? Um, what I'd like to uh, suggest is looking at for improvement is, you know, when we had communication breakdown with some of our equipment, some guys, you know, <coughs> the radio, uh, things like that. I think we need to work on making sure that our hand signals are up to par. Uh, that way when we need to move quietly and we don't even can't speak, we don't have a radio, we're able to o overcome and still communicate 100% effectively. So I think we need to look at, you know, what happens if uh, you don't have a radio? How are we going to overcome that? How can we still communicate? Make sure that uh, the command structure isn't broke down because there's communication breakdown. So I think we need to look at making sure that our, our hand signals and things like that are 100% of the bar. And again, that's that's a great point. I mean, adding to the battle drills once we get to the hand and arm signal portion, you know, in, in the climb the work program, we're going to see, you know, that kind of fall into place. We haven't gotten that far yet, um, but that's a great point. I mean, once we're all there, I gave some hand signals to, I know I've used some, uh, did you understand Absolutely. some of the stuff? Cool. Absolutely. Uh, is there uh, anything else you want to do on Zerf? Not that I can think of. I mean, it, today overall went really well. Yeah. All in all, I think it was a great op. I mean, um, that was one particular, you know, op that you know, we're doing the AAR on as far as the search and destroy. But there's you know, many, many different dynamic games we can play out there. And once we start training, we can implement all of that into one. And once we are able to just think on our feet, you know, I know your position, you know, my position on the battlefield, not as rank, but, you know, as point man, saw gunner, rear security, all that. Um, I think it'll, it'll all fall in place and work out well. Is there anything else we want to improve on? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, o overall everything went really well. You guys are very do doing very good as a cohesive unit. Now uh, you guys are doing some great things. You've already uh, you're already progressing really well on the climbing glory program. You've already got your friends in place for doing Sarn's time training and the battle drills. Yeah, everything is coming along very well. One thing I gotta say, you know, the commander, in the short period of time that we've been in the USJTF, we've actually done quite a bit. Um, some teams are out there struggling, and it might be just because they have more people. Uh, but then again, we look at things a little different than than you know other people's perspective. Um, we take it serious, and all in all, I think we're doing pretty good. Really, I'm actually, I'm proud to say I'm in the USATF, especially with you guys. Do you have something to say for something? Uh, no, go ahead and finish. I do have something to add before we, before we close out the AR. Well, I mean, we got a lot, long road ahead of us, especially as we get more people. we got to integrate them into our training and things like that. But all in all, I think we're progressing pretty well. Uh, I don't think there's anything we can do as of now other than just keep on the path that we're, we're doing on it. That'll be to success. Uh, just one more thing to add. Uh, I, you know, I noticed we, when we were out on the field today, we had a little bit of dissension uh, with some of the other players. 
it's not not with USJTF, not with DEFCON 5. And uh, basically, uh, there was a player thought that there was another player not calling hits. Uh, he was going to, you know, leave. He was upset. He was going to leave the field, not come back. Uh, you know, we went over and, and we kind of diffused the situation. Uh, we made sure that we kind of stepped up to the plate and, and kind of interjected and made sure that he understood that, you know, we expect honor here on the field, that it's okay that he has a voice. We want to make sure that if he's unhappy, if he thinks somebody's doing that, he needs to speak out, uh, that we're behind him and we support how he feels. I think that's very important. Um, we can be a good team. We can play well. We can have good tactics. But if we don't have people skills, if we don't have leadership skills, what are we doing as leadership in USJTF? So I think it's absolutely 100% important that all of us continue to strive to be leaders. And that means we have to step up to the plate. That means taking time out, listening, making sure that we understand when, when, when people are having good days and bad days, that we're there supporting them, saying, what can we do to make this a better experience for you? I totally agree. That's a good point. I mean, the, the way you were speaking to him, I was standing right there. You did diffuse the situation uh, very well. And as a leader, it doesn't matter if you're USJTF or not. Um, the values and you know, everything set forth by USJTF and the ideals uh, are exactly what you just explained. Um, so, I mean, all in all, that's that's a good thing to recognize that. So that, that just shows me the leadership that you, the qualities that you have, you know, as a first sergeant. Uh, and it's only going to build from there. So. That's all I have. Well, I'm proud of the team today. And in closing, uh, I just keep up the good work and strive to be what we want to be, let people know what we said we're going to be, and we'll get there. We're down that road to success. And Strike fear. Strike fear. Yeah. Uh, the only thing, if I could, real quick, before we actually finalize, um, it was an honor having you down here today. I agree. Um, I had a great time. Thank you for having me down here. Yeah, and we we look forward to having you down here more and uh, running with you and anywhere. Actually, I'll be more than happy to have you at six. Absolutely. So, yeah, you were a great asset to us in this field here today. Uh, we've struggled with some of the game modes because of the terrain and the difficulty switching between upper and lower. And, you know, you brought out this new game that is a great equalizer, and it's going to make a better experience for every player that steps on this field from here until we're not here again. So thank you, sir. All right, well, thank you guys. Glad I'm, glad. I'm glad I could help. All right. All right. And there you are.